I'm Marcel, and today is Monday. It's been four years since we posted a Marcel on Monday, or I think any kind of vlog, which was 2018. A lot has transcribed, or what's the, what's the word I'm looking for? A lot has happened. We're just gonna keep it simple. Um, where do we start? <laughs> First off, I would say I appreciate you guys who have been here you know, for a long time. And if you're new, I appreciate you as well. It's been a minute, it's been a hot minute. The last time we posted a Marcella Monday, I think I was living in Orlando at the time, uh, which was the annoying my mom at Target. A quick pause, my glitch flavor is out and it's gonna be leaving the shop soon because it is a limited flavor. Sour work melon is available. Click that link in the description, you know? And uh, here's the blooper scene real quick and then we'll resume the, you know what I'm saying? Commercial, it's like a commercial break. It's a, it's a what up, it's your boy Base Go to Work and I have officially partnered with Glitch and we're allowed I thought you were gonna throw it and it scared the shit. Shut the f up, Jacob. How long did Nogla take, be honest? Nogla was a nightmare. Worst. Sour work moment. Sour work moment, that's fucking hard to say. Literally getting a phone call, sorry. It's my mom. Tell people to buy the flavor. People should know to buy the flavor. What other flavor is there? What's up, guys? It's Marcus. Basically, I do twerk. Oh my God! Sour work melon's out August 26th. How's that for fucking energy, Tyler? That's pretty good. That's work melon is out August 26th. Oh my God! And then tell them oh there's my God. an energy for me. My name. Hydration oh formula. my. What else do I have to say? <laughs> Just don't hurt my. D Since then, you know, a lot of shit has gone down. I moved from Orlando to England. Um, with Simone and then shortly after that we called it off. We got divorced Which we're not really gonna like dive into or anything, but it's a thing and it happened. It's life feeling like Ross from friends out here You know what I'm saying divorced at 28 which based on the comments left on some of my like Instagram posts and stuff Are finding out right now, which is mostly my fault I kind of didn't really address it other than a statement on Twitter Which is not all of you guys follow me on social medias, which is a problem by the way Links in the description. So I moved back home to Seattle in 2019. I'm gonna be single for the first time in like six plus years and just gonna fucking live my life. And then boom, pandemic, which sucks for everybody. Everybody had to go through that bad boy. Processing all that during, you know, the lockdown and very little social interaction fucking sucked, just to be honest. And right around like May of last year, I kind of just got super burnt out and just, Kind of stopped uploading videos and just rarely posting. To be fair, there hasn't really been that many good multiplayer, like fun games for like my kind of content to exist on. They just don't, they just don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't do the thing, they don't. And I was chilling, minding my own business. You know what I'm saying? Just being a city boy. City boy! City boy! And then boom, last year I met this girl. Okay, so I'm just telling the story of how we met. Yeah. This feels weird. How I met Marcel. I... I don't even know where to start. It was August of 2021 and I was recently single and it was like my first or second night in my new apartment that I moved into and I was like, you know what, just for fun, I'll download Tinder and we'll see um, how it goes. And Marcel was one of the first people that I matched with on Tinder. So he super liked me. Hit her with the super like. So I swiped right and obviously we matched. He messaged me and he said, I just gotta know what man fumbled the bag so tremendously that you are out here running around not wiped up. Shoot or shoot. Which was just epic for like eight different reasons. This man really did fumble the bag. And Marcel had no way of knowing that, but I was just like, man, like he just, God spoke to him. And then I caught it off the glass and then, and then between the legs behind the back. Yeah. That's why he's the goat, the goat. It was really sweet. And I looked at his profile, which by the way was terrible. Like I don't, it's a, it's a miracle that that, that worked out and it, he's lucky he got a date because he had like two photos. None of them were good. I love you. I think he's handsome. Of course, but those pictures, he was not, they were not his best. No one was taking pictures of me. It's not my fault. So I had responded to his message with, oh, maybe I'll tell you the story over drinks one day or something. Cause you know, I got game too. We talked a little bit on the app and then he followed me on Instagram. Probably been talking for like maybe a week or so. And then we started texting and I told him to turn his red receipts on because 
you can see who reads your messages and stuff on Instagram. And I just like told him to turn his red for seats on. <laughs> I kind of was bossy. I really bossed him around a lot in the beginning, but he was just so excited that I was talking to him. Like, but he like told me he just got a new car and he was like, I want to take you to like the best restaurant in the city. And I was like, well, good luck because generally regarded as the best restaurant in the city is Canlis. No way we're gonna be able to go to Canlis. You have to book that place months in advance. There's just, it's not gonna work out. So I told him that one of my favorite restaurants was Ascend, which is actually not in Seattle, it's in Bellevue. But Marcel being Marcel, I think I already kind of knew he just like needed to go all out. It's what we do. First of all, he was late. He was like 30 minutes late because he lost his keys. Picked her up in the whip, you know what I'm saying? The Porsche. Just got it tuned, I got fresh brakes and everything on it. And he finally pulled up to my apartment and I could hear the brakes on his car. And so he um, texted me and said, oh, I'm here. And I said, I know, I heard your brakes. <laughs> they were brand new and they made a little bit of noise. But so he took me out and he was such a gentleman and he um, we had a great first date. He was so nervous. He really was, he was really nervous. Had a great time at dinner. It was fantastic. He asked me, you know, like more about myself and I think we had a really good conversation. I asked him about what he did and got a little bit more of an understanding and like how he even got into what he does because I thought that was really interesting because I never met anybody who did anything like him. I have had a very corporate like structured career and so it was kind of interesting just if nothing else to learn a little bit about uh, what his job was and how he got into it and what it entails and all this stuff and so I just I was a really great first date and And he gave me a kiss on the way home hand on the back of the neck bow bow and that's it super smooth nothing nothing else happened And he screamed in my face. You're so hot This <laughs> should come as a surprise to no one and especially the least of all me now that I know him then we were like Okay, let's go on a second date and so he took me to a beautiful park that we have here called Golden Gardens. We watched the sunset and it was really sweet. And that's where I learned even more so how picky he is. This man is like, he eats like a toddler, I swear to God. She showed me her apartment, hung out her house for a little bit. And then she was like, you gotta go home. I gotta, I gotta wake up for work at like five o'clock. And I was like, why don't you let me spend the night so you could basically do work. I didn't say that out loud, but like- And then I ghosted him. <laughs> gone. <sighs> okay, well, this has been great, but I'm just not, you know, you're awesome, but I'm not ready for a relationship. Bookmarking is a better way to say it. Mm, more like breadcrumbing. She would give me the smooth, cold shoulder over like text messages and stuff, but she would like like my Instagram stories or like reply to my Instagram stories. Just not in a position to be dating anybody seriously right now. Like I've been single for like all of two minutes and I just was really looking forward to like getting my life back together. You gonna have to figure it out because cause we gonna, because we're about to date. And he like said, oh, good morning, beautiful. And I just liked the message. I didn't even respond. And he was like, wow. <laughs> like clockwork. I wake up to a good morning text every day because she would go to work super early in the morning because she had a regular job. It just felt too soon. And I was like, I don't really know you and not for nothing. Like all the people that follow you, like that's kind of a scary thing to get involved with. There's just a lot of extra things that came with it. You know, he travels a lot. I have a very corporate job and he doesn't. He has, you know, not a lot of structure. Like the man didn't set an alarm when I met him. He didn't have an alarm. He just woke up when he woke up. Wake up when you need to wake up. He just did not know how to quit. He was just a big dork. These aren't overalls. Well, they are overalls, but they're sweatpants overalls. I saw it on TikTok. They're super mad comfy, bro, look. So he kind of did a last ditch effort and said, hey, I'm gonna be going to a Seahawks game. I got a suite, but he said, you can bring some of your friends. I would just really like to see you again. I hope you can come. I got invited to a suite for the Sounders game, which is our soccer team. So I started doing research and I was like, is, I mean, you know what I'm saying? He didn't know it at the time, but he did the one thing that is a guaranteed yes for me, which is invite me to something fun. <laughs> Cause I have probably the worst case of FOMO of like anybody I've ever met in my entire life. But we went to the Seahawks game and per usual, he was so sweet, really nervous still, which cracks me up. But it's funny because he, I don't know, he was like trying to play it all cool and everything else. Um, we went to the Seahawks game and we had a super fun time and I went back to his apartment. At some point when we were talking, he had asked me what my favorite flowers were. And I said that they were peonies. Well, I'm gonna buy you those for our next date. And I said, well, Good luck, peonies are a late spring, early summer flower. I'm gonna go grab them really fast. Please hold. Back in his apartment, he reached behind his counter 
and pulled these out. They're beautiful paper flowers and they're peonies. I pay attention. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Um, one of his really good friends, Kat, shout out to Kat. Her mom makes beautiful um, paper flower arrangements and he, you know, went out of his way to get me these. And they've been sitting in his house because like a month had passed between our first date and our third. And I was like, man, this guy like held on to these for this long. Like, I just kind of felt like if he was willing to put in all that effort and like wait around for me, that was a sign of somebody who was like a really um, caring person who knows what he wants. Yeah, pretty much after that, we were like, let's maybe start taking it a little bit more seriously and hanging out more. On like our fourth or fifth date, we had talked about places that I wanted to go visit. And she was like, I always want to go to Sedona. I bet I'm going to take you to Sedona. And we did. So we went to Sedona in early November of last year. It was incredible. We rented out this beautiful Airbnb that was, he just was trying so hard to impress me and it was so unnecessary and over the top. I wasn't trying that hard. It was like a five bedroom Airbnb for just the two of us. So wasteful. First off, neither of us knew this at the time, but there was a, uh, um, a bike convention. So every hotel was booked. The Airbnb was like, it was like the same price point. It was the same range. We had a really wonderful vacation. It was so fun. We had lots of good food and the weather was great. We came back and he had planned all this stuff for my birthday. I flew in my friends from home and just was like over the top trying so hard to make it so that I just couldn't leave. And it worked, which is infuriating because I was so excited to just live my private life and stay in my own lane and just go be a hoe for a while. And then he just was like, nope, you're not going anywhere. That's the story of how we met. We moved in together last spring. This house that we share together is just so beautiful and it's just the, like the perfect combination of both of us and our styles and our personalities and I have an office that I can work in and create in and write and, and make. I like to craft and sew and things like that. So I know he's going to be reviewing this footage but I also just wanted to say to him that um, I'm not even talking yet and I'm getting emotional. He just is the my best friend in the whole world. Oh my god I can't even believe I'm crying. This is not supposed to go like this at all. I never would have guessed this time a year ago that um, this is what my life would look like and that he would be willing to stick around and like let me figure stuff out and be so caring and supportive but he is the most unique and special and kind person that I've ever met. I'm just really excited to see what the next year is going to be like for us but more than that I just feel so grateful for everything that he's done and for the opportunity just to be his person. Um, I just can't imagine life without him anymore. A crazy year and it was a crazy start. <laughs> and I think a lot of the odds were kind of like stacked against it working out, but I'm so glad that it did. He's gonna be a great husband and a great dad. And not yet, don't, not, <clears throat> just really thankful and happy and grateful. Although I'm gonna be honest, like I see some of the girls he's hooked up with before me and I'm just like, I get it, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't leave that in. <laughs> I mean, they're great, just, you know, I, I get it. Okay, all right, that's it. Okay, I love you, bye. Shots fired. So that's Kristen and she's pretty dope. Not gonna lie, she's, she's everything that I'm not. And in, and in the, the Venn diagram where we meet in the middle, it's it's awesome. It's incredible. Um, she keeps me organized. Uh, I got a calendar. All kind of stuff going that thing. It's, I know exactly what I'm doing tomorrow. She's funny, she's stubborn. She pushes me to be a better person and you know, to grow uh, and mature a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Cause I could be a little childish. Who would have thought me? We, we've done so much in a year and it's been awesome. And if you're into astrology or like to call it space politics, She's a Sagittarius. She encouraged me to touch grass. Oh, I bought a house. It's not the castle. I'm not, I haven't given up on the castle. It's just on pause right now because I'm trying to set up my financial future. And, and it's like you're so you're supposed to buy a house. Like that's what you're like that's what that's how you. I bought a drift car. I'm just, oh my god, it's in the shop right now. I'm, I'm putting a two JC engine into my um, S14. Don't know how to drift at all, but. We're, we're getting there. I, I bought a, a simulator. It's not like Brian's fancy one. This is gonna be like the kind of like intro. This is kind of like the, 
update to let you guys know that we're going to be trying to blend more um, of gaming and like lifestyle vlog content. I'm going to try to do one of these once a month, but I'm still, I'm still trying to get comfortable, um, you know, vlogging in public and I'm looking forward to showing you guys, you know, what I'm up to, what I've been doing. Alpha beta is going to be coming out this fall. So yeah, I think we go to LA tomorrow. I got a pack. Mirror, mirror on the wall, on the wall. Who's gonna really be the first of all? Uh, no, 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 not me. I write my own lyrics and I make my own beats. Uh, yeah, and I tell you that's peace. I don't